Okay, welcome back to This Old Nerd. I am This Old Nerd, I am Zaktar. And today's project is about making sure the Wi-Fi network works in this brand new apartment. We've been living here for about six months and this was the first project I took on. It was kind of a pain in the neck for a number of reasons and I'll tell you why. One, there's a lot more apartment units in this complex, okay? And that means there's a lot more interference. Second challenge was dealing with the structure and the layout of this actual building. The layout of this building has this weird section that's got a lot of glass and bricks. And I'll tell you what, glass and bricks, not exactly Wi-Fi friendly, plus that interferes. So I had to figure out a way to get the router right there its signal over to the back rooms without running like an ethernet cable or something because we'd be cutting across a hallway. It just wouldn't look good. So the idea came to me. I will get a mesh system. And I was like, hey, you know what? Mesh systems are really expensive and I don't really want to break the bank on this because, yeah, you know, you might've heard of recent news. Anyway, so what I did was I did some research. Now my router has a feature that is like mesh. I think that they call it AI mesh or mesh AI. It's from Asus, okay? All right, so my plan was simple. I would get the same router that I had already. This is an Asus RTAC68U. Now this is not the top of the line router these days, but you can get it cheap. And if you have two of them, you could make a mesh network. Sounds like a plan, right? All I had to do was upgrade the firmware, right? That sounds really easy. That sounds really easy, but the thing is it didn't actually work. I spent hours and hours and hours trying to upgrade the firmware on this thing. Problem was, it just wouldn't take. I looked at so many different tutorials and as I am an old nerd who has responsibilities, I couldn't waste all my time on this. So then I had to come up with another solution. Plan B, and that's Blue Cave. This is an Asus Blue Cave AC2600 dual band Wi-Fi router. At least this is the box for it. And you can see the design. It's got like a hole through it. It looks like a Dyson device. This thing was only 50 bucks and available on Amazon. Looks nice, look, it actually does have a hole. That's my hand going through it. I can actually peel this off. Oh, <laughs> the little sticky thing came off and not the actual uh, protective layer. Ah, satisfying. I've been saving that for the show, you can believe it or not. Anyway, so this device, all the antennas are internal. Okay, so it's got this nice look. We're gonna have a nice shelf over here at some point so it can sit and no one will notice it. You can actually turn the light off. So how did the actual installation go. I'm glad you asked. I'll tell you what the installation of the Blue Cave actually went a little bit better than using the router and I'll tell you that's because I did it on a Monday instead of a Sunday so I was able to mess with this a lot more. No amount of hooking up those two devices via the Asus Wi-Fi apps or the Asus Anything that was a Wi-Fi connection between the two just didn't work. I had to eventually take the Blue Cave, attach it via Ethernet cable to the router, made sure whatever computer was attached to the Asus router was attached by Ethernet as well. Then the firmware on the Blue Cave was finally up to speed so I could use it as a second point because otherwise it wants to be the router. I didn't want to run the risk of taking my current router and completely borking the thing, thereby having no Wi-Fi network. So I wasn't about to make that the secondary device. That's why I was in this mess. That's why it took me so long to do this, but it took me hours and hours of fiddling with firmware and ethernet cables to make it work, but I made it work. So let's talk about the partner acceptance rating. Now on this show, that means how much does your partner think this is okay? Your partner may be your spouse, your child, your roommate, I don't know, whoever else lives in your house. Because when you're adding technology into a house, it shouldn't be in a way that annoys them. It should be a thing to help them. It's supposed to improve things. And if everything goes well, it's pretty seamless. In this case, since I tried that on a Sunday, bad idea, bad, bad nerd. What I should have done was do it on a Monday. When I did it on a Monday, when everyone's out of the house, the network was down and up, down and up, down and up. But by the time they came home, everything was running just fine. Now, one of the quibbles about the Blue Cave is that I cannot bind items to it. So let's say I have a smart TV in the bedroom and I want it to only connect to the Blue Cave, not reaching out to my router, which is back here. It can't do that. Now, is that a, just a horrible deal breaker? No, it's a $50 device. And more times than not, it does connect. That smart TV does connect to the Blue Cave just by virtue of its proximity. They're closer together, the signal is stronger, it makes no sense for that television trying to reach to this way over here, through the glass, through the bricks, it's kind of difficult for it to do that. Because of how this mesh network is situated, I'm able to place the blue cave in an area that will not have to deal with as much glass and brick, thereby giving a very strong signal to the two bedrooms. It's actually quite nice. On top of that, it's pretty. 
Okay, if you look at the thing, there's gonna be, like I said, a nice shelf over there. When you put that on the shelf, it's not gonna be like, oh, look at that. So that's the partner acceptance rating. They are quite happy with it. Uh, my wife and son like that everything's running fine. Our connections on smart TVs are doing better. The Google Home devices aren't losing connections all the time. The smart plugs that are in there, they know where they're going. So there's a lot of benefit that has happened and they didn't have to do anything. The other thing is since it's the same SSID, none of the devices had to be reconfigured. I didn't have to go through the effort or the joy of putting in a new SSID and then putting in a new password and making sure the devices don't get confused. I didn't have to do that. So that was a really nice feature of setting up a mesh network based on a Wi-Fi 5 system, even though, like I said, it's old, but it didn't want to break the bank. Now, one of the bonuses about this whole setup is that the Blue Cave is near the home entertainment system, meaning I can connect the Blue Cave to components in here using ethernet with the home theater components attached with ethernet, the signal dropout is probably not gonna happen. As long as the blue cave and the router are talking, things should be fine. And that is likely because they're both out in the open. So that's a win for me. So you guys see the setup, it works for what I want. I wanna know what you guys would have done in the situation. I wanna know what situations you worked with in your Wi-Fi woes, your networking nightmares, all that stuff. How did you solve your problems? I've learned so much from this community in the past. I've really enjoyed how many things I've learned from the comments. And I'm not just talking about how to like do things to myself with swear words. I'm talking about actual information on how to do things better. Let me know what your ideas are. I'm always excited to read that. And I'm gonna read every single comment, whether it makes me happy or not, I'm gonna do it. So just know that. We probably have a Patreon down here. Please support the show any way you can. If it's for a dollar, if it's whatever, it's fine. If you just wanna share the video, cause you're like, hey, the guy's back. He's been gone for 10 years. Do that, tell people. I'm excited to be back. I'm hoping to do this weekly. That's my goal. Fingers crossed. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, cool. If you didn't, sorry. Anyway, I've been Aya Zaktar asking you, how's your tech life? Because it could be better. Okay, so that part of the show is over, right? Now, it's been 10 years, right? Like, wh where, where have I been? What have I been doing? What's going on? Like, wh what's happened? So, like, there's a lot of stuff I want to tell you. Uh, there's probably a big catch-up episode I want to do. I want to explain, like, why I'm in Manhattan again. What's going on with, my, with this guy? Remember this guy? He was about, like, this big, and now he's the 12 inch, 12 inches. He's 12 years old. He's about 12 inches away from being taller than me at this point. There's a lot of stuff that's been going on. That's more like a personal stuff. If you guys are actually interested in knowing that, I might put that as a Patreon video that I'll put out later because there's been some stuff, man. There's been a lot of stuff going on. Anyway, see you guys. 62%, 63%. My hopes are going up. I'm going to try to bring them back down because if it doesn't work, I can't have my heart broken right now. 60, 69, nice. 70%. 74% and it failed. Failed to upload the firmware file. Transfer canceled. Son of a...